We are joined live by our correspondent, Miro Liu, in Singapore. Uh, welcome to the show, Miro. Can you tell us uh, more, since you've listened to Fu Ying's televised debate, tell us what they discussed. Hello, Carters. Yes, uh, Madam Fuin's debate is, uh, has attracted a lot of media attention. And there was a room of, uh, I would say, 300 to 400 people uh, listening to her debate because uh, she represents the top diplomats that China sent to this year's Shangri-La Dialogue, which is quite rare because in previous years, China's attitude towards this Shangri-La Dialogue or Asia Security Summit is that we, we more or less act, act like, uh, like an observer. But this time, we have sent strong uh, top di uh, diplomats. So this debate was widely watched. And during the conversation, uh, she said that Asia region has witnessed a 20 year of fastest economic growth. A lot of people came out of poverty into middle, uh, become a middle class. And she said all of that is thanks to stability and peace in the region. And she said that she, rec she acknowledged the fact that there are some disputes in this region uh, in the recent years. And she said uh, she believes that the, the right approach should be negotiation, cooperation, and to, to have more dialogue dialogues and to solve the issues. When asked about uh, some sensitive is issues, such as uh, the dispute between China and Vietnam, Madame Fu says, um these issues uh, uh, is China and Vietnam themselves need to solve the problem. U.S., uh, although they are trying to rebalance into the region, but U.S. cannot solve these problems uh, for uh, these two countries. So Madame Fu, as we know, she is uh, known as a uh, charming, but at the same time, she's known as one of the iron lady. Um, some uh, analysts I talk to, they think uh, she is the best uh, person to send uh, to this uh, platform to discuss uh, with other uh, country's leaders on the security issue because uh, she's very articulate and she she is very professional so uh, she's also uh, has the uh, behind the charming sir appearance she has a very strong opinion back to you well Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe is also going to be delivering a keynote speech tonight uh, what is the Japanese Prime Minister expected to talk about this is the key event uh, tonight. In fact, uh, I'm right now at the Shangri-La Hotel. And there, the security is very tight coming into the hotel, and there are people queuing uh, to get into the security areas. Uh, and because of the Shinzo Abe speech, and the media reports from the Japanese media, they said uh, Japanese uh, Shinzo Abe is expected uh, to push Japan's role in the regional security. Now, uh, this will be interesting to watch because uh, the all Audience will be a lot of the Southeast Asian countries, uh, although some of them might be happy to hear that because there are disputes in the region. But on the other hand, a lot of people are still kind of skeptical because of Japan's war past. Actually, Madame Fu mentioned that as well. She said it personally, she's very interested in Mr. Abe's uh, message. She wants to know where he stands in terms of Japan's uh, uh, future, Japan's, di uh, Japan's attitude towards the past and Japan's direction towards the future. So we'll be watching closely uh, for our audience right here at the Shangri-La Hotel. All right, Miralu in Singapore at the Shangri-La Dialogue, uh, once again opening Friday night uh, in Singapore. Thank you for your report.